We're going to look at more complicated recurring decimals to fractions. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, you really should go and watch that one first. So this time we've got this kind of recurring decimal. This is 0 0.3, and the dots are just above the 2 and the 5. So it's only the 2 and the 5 that recur. That looks like 0 0.3, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5. 2, 5. Um, I'm still going to use the same technique from before and say that my decimal D is 0 0.3252525 2, 5, and so on and so on. Um, my aim really is to get the recurring decimal part to be just in front of the decimal point. I'll show you what I mean. The recurring bit is 2, 5. So 3, 2, 5, just in front of the decimal point. And then 2, 5, 2, 5, all the other ones. And what did I do to move it that far? Well, the digits have moved three spaces, so that's like timesing by a thousand. So that's a thousand times my original decimal. Um, the other thing that I want is to have the recurring part, the 2, 5, immediately after the decimal point, and that looks like this. So 3.252525 and so on. And to move from this to this one, that's just been multiplied by 10. And after all that really careful lining up, I've got the 2's lined up here, and these 5's and 2's and 5's, so when I subtract, they're going to go away. I'm going to do this line, so the 1,000 D's, and I'm going to take off the 10 times D. So 1,000 Ds take off 10 Ds is 990 Ds. This time, 325 take away 3. Well, that's fine, 322. But 2 take 2 is nothing, 5 take 5 is nothing, 2 take 2 is nothing, and etc, etc. I'm just left with a nice number. Divide both sides by 990. Leaves me with this fraction. 322 over 990. I'm going to just check it. 322 over 990 comes out as 0 0.325525 and that's the original decimal I had. We don't worry about that 3 on the end, that's just rounding. Okay, one more like this and this is the really really super hard one. Same kind of idea though. So it's 0 0.53 and then 814 recurring. That looks like 0 0.53814814814 814. And I'm going to, again, start off by saying that that is my decimal D. Um, the recurring part is 814. I want that to be just in front of the decimal point. So 5, 3, 814, point, 814, 814, and so on. What have I done to get it that big? Uh, I've moved five numbers along. So that's been times by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just about squeeze it in. That's 100,000 D. Let's fit it in there. I also want the recurring part to be immediately just after the decimal point. So then the 5 and the 3 in front. 814, 814, 814. That to get from D to this has been times by 100. Now we just do our subtracting, that number, subtract this one. So that's quite a bit harder this time. Just going to quickly use a calculator, 53814 minus 53. So 53761. And on this side, 100,000 take off 100. That's 99900. Zero, zero. So 99,900D is equal to 53,761. Or I can say that D is divide both sides by 99,000, this number here essentially, 99,900, to give that fraction as my answer. So, 53761 divided by 99900 
gives me that decimal that I wanted in the first place. 0 0.53814814814814814. 8 8 and so on. And that's it. So the tricks involved in getting the, the recurring part of the decimal just in front of the decimal point and just after the decimal point and work out what you multiplied by to do that.